Everybody feel it come around with ground with ground. Everybody feel it come around with ground with ground. Everybody feel it come around with ground with ground. Everybody feel it come around with ground with ground. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to UK here. We're going to take a look today at Music Store Simulator. It's in early access. The devs have sent me over a key, and if I come into the Steam Store page, you can see they've already released a couple of hot fixes. Um, so it's got some positive reviews coming out here. It came out on the 24th of July, 2023. It's from Crystalia Games and backed by Playway, of course. Uh, it is early access, so there may be bugs and issues along the way, but we're not going to worry about that too much. Um... What did I want to see here? It just looks really good and really interesting, something I wouldn't mind doing myself. If, uh, if I ever had the opportunity to open my own music store, I think I'd probably like to do it. Let's uh, jump in and take a little look at the settings. Controls, WSAD, left shift to run, workbench is Q, E, rotate is R, paint area is F, light switch on off is L, switch AR on, blah, 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 notifications in, tablet, pause menu, blah, 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 blah. English, date, month, year, currency. Excuse me, there's no pound coins here. I'm not using euros on principle. Screw, screw that. Action, confirmation, semi-automatic, head bob, movement speed. Okay, there's quite a lot of detail. Quite a lot of detail here. Is this music a bit loud? If we just drop that down a little right, bit. Let's go, new game, name of studio, Sim UK Rocks. Yes, sucks. Off. Baby. I really like that they let you put a really long name in here. There are so many games that restrict you to like 12 characters, and I find that so irritating. Head office is going to be... Oh, my God, look at this. Uh, England. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, Londinium. Let's do it. Studio logo. I wonder if I can upload my own logo. That would be cool. Is that it? That's it. All right, we'll go with that one. Start a working day. Oh, no. Nine o'clock. End at six. Show tutorial. Let's do Three this. Three musical instruments to start working with. Classical guitar is mandatory. Okay. Uh, classical guitar cutaway. Oh, I see. So that hasn't been released yet. Uh, round back guitar. What's that then? Dreadnought guitar. I'm going to learn a lot about guitars here. My goodness me. This is, this is a simulator. I'm already seeing that to be true. Still at 2%. Should I be worried? I know it's early access. These things do happen, but... Uh, hello? Hello, Skipies! Ah, 3%. We are progressing. Very, very, very slowly. 4%. 5%. Okay. No. Six. One hundred percent. Wow. <laughs> they maybe need to fix that. Hi, this tutorial will walk you through... Wow, that went far too quickly. Look on the right, there's a new notification. Press N to open the notification view, which informs you about the arrival of new orders, about the wares delivery and much. New email received. Okay. A new email has arrived and therefore a new order from a customer is available. Thus go upstairs and activate your office PC. Okay. I can't actually do that from... Um, oh, this looks really good. I tell you what, if this is my pad... Oh, hello. You want to end your working day now? No, cancel. Okay, this is my store. Oh, this is very excellent for a musical store. Oh, my word. I am super impressed. That's the recording studio. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to have fun with this game. I can see it. Sorry. Let's go to the PC. Even the PC looks cool. Uh, the email application receives all the orders from your customers. An order can be single instrument, multiple instruments, VIP, repair instruments. You can accept or refuse an order. Obviously, if you refuse, you'll lose the customer. Okay. Uh, so... Left click to open the email. Customer, Shumi Leng. Previous orders, zero. 52%. So she doesn't know whether she likes this or not. This is brilliant. Just the interface so far is really... I'm just fully engaged. It's like the UI is so intuitive. I just kind of know what to do without having ever played or looked at this game before in my life. 
I know I know that sounds simple because I'm just looking at an email, but look, you, you can see part details. You've got all this information over here. Stuff is in stock. The price it's going to be. Um, so this is available in the warehouse. This is stuff that's coming in delivery. Do you see how it just all makes sense? And you hover over something and it gives you that image pop up as well. This is just brilliant. Already I'm very impressed. Ah, okay, right. Now we've got no strings. That's a bit of a problem. Um, paint. Well, I'm going to buy that red paint just in case. Okay, so we've got everything is good enough quality and they're all on delivery. And you can delete the delivery. Um, but they'll be here on Monday at 10... 19 i think based on what i know now open the market application click on the project you just accepted and check that you have all the parts in your warehouse if something is missing by for the tutorial remember to select fast delivery oh. <laughs> i hate it when they do that i'm distracted by all the nice blingy stuff in front of me and then at the bottom i realize that apparently we have all the stuff in the warehouse we didn't need to buy anything how annoying it's probably something in the warehouse we didn't have Right, what's this? Is this the warehouse? The rehearsal room? Recording studio? Let's just go in here. I'm curious. Oh, wow. Looky, look, look, look. This is so damn cool. I don't have a guitar with me. Oh, man. This game is going to be brilliant, I think. And then the recording studio. It doesn't look like a recording studio just yet, but it will. I've got to figure out where my warehouse is. Looking here. Alrighty. Wow. This is so cool. Right. Okay. So. How do I know if I've got a hundred percent? Thirty one percent so far. Okay, so I have to go over it a couple of times to get the glue on properly. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. So that's 100%, phase completed. That's quite nerve-wracking, I have to say, because basically I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's put the frame in. Go with maple. So we've got... Pick the glue. Do the glue arising. This is quite tricky. Moving the camera is... Bit of an experience what any of these are that I can see. I'm just gonna have to guess this, aren't I? So go for the red ones like I was doing. And some orange. Oh, I see. Right. So I open the clamp and then I move it down. Right. I'm with you. This is so good. Next step. Drying. Right. By hovering the mouse over the parts. Yes, we've done that. Drying. Okay. So. What do I do? Just leave it for a bit. If I press N... Uh, so we've had lo we've had loads of goods delivered. We've got a new email as well. Okay. So all those parts I ordered are probably in here now. We've got enough to build like seven hundred guitars. <laughs> Never mind. 
Look at this, though. The transition between walking about and being actively involved in the building of the guitar is just seamless. I am so impressed with this game. I really am. Oh, well, that's awesome. Look at that. I want one of them. They're so cool. Right. Uh, so it should be dry now. And it still says drying. Oh, dear. Got three alerts. Three new emails. Oh, my gosh. Right, let's go look at the emails real quick. There's that thing. So, she wants a round back. He wants a round back. Ethan wants a classical, which is good, because uh, we've got loads of classical parts. Uh, Rose Bell, multiple order. Again, classical guitar. And a classical cutaway. Okay. Oh, wow! This, I tell you what, this game is going to be immense. It's going to take up so much of my time. I've just got to figure out how to make this dry. Information about the workbench. Okay. Enables you to work on large projects because it's uh, there's an there's an awful lot of things in there that I don't quite understand at this point um, oh hang on oh I don't think I did it right I have to click on it and then do drying oh fuck so now we have two jobs on the go and that's still got 40 minutes of drying to do so let's Move this to the workbench. Put it on this one over here. That way we can keep them separated. And start working on it. So. What does she want? She wants chestnut spruce. So we've got some chestnut. A beautiful looking bit of wood as well. We want it opaque. What's it? Light blue. Qualifiers light blue. Oh, we had it there. There it is. Light blue. She wants a gloss finish. Looking okay, nice. Okay, so. Complete that. Conk it in. Now she wants a band. And it's maple, so we're good to go on that front. She wants opaque. Again, she wants it light blue. And no way to... pin that as the active colour. Cool. And right one. Thin. Name on this side. Phileas Fog. That's what it is. It's Phileas Fog. Right. Good start. Good tape. I'm kind of starting to get used to it. It's a two stage process. You can't do it smoothly in one maneuver. That's what I'm. That's what I'm realizing. Do I have enough clamps? Oh, I'm not, I didn't think about this. Oh bugger! I've only got four clamps. Right, we got a problem. Uh, I very quickly need to go upstairs and order some clamps. I didn't think about that. Didn't didn't occur to me that I might not have eight clamps available. Markets and supplies. Can you search? Is there a search bar? Help me! Supplies. Clamps. Uh, okay, so the red ones are... So they're... Okay. We get a 10% discount because I bought four. Uh... We'll do the same with that. Okay, cool. Right. Okay. Uh, we'll go with that. I 
I have eight. Not quite sure why it's not letting me. Oh, I see. Because it's the wrong shape or something? I think that's what it was. Gotcha. So there's a bit of binding that goes in the middle as well. Or on the bottom. Used. So rotate. Oh, I see. Okay. It's a little it's it's not it's not always immediately obvious what you've got to do, but it does not take that long to make sense. Uh, right, so we've got to get some screw clamps. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. Is that a bug? I think that's a bug. So before it will let me put the clamps on here, even though these are different kinds of clamps, as soon as I try and do the clamp, it took me over to the other guitar, which is uh, a bit weird. Okay, groovy. How do I know if it's tight enough? You just keep going till it's done. Fair enough. It looks better. It's slightly Spanish looking. Fretboard is on next. Oh yeah, nice. Oh no, see, it's, it's not a eucalyptus. All right, let's go eucalyptus then. I think the darker wood would work better. No, it's, okay, let's go eucalyptus. Let's mix it up a bit. Should we get? Top and the bottom done right. Just in case smothering it all over the place. I see. Clamp and then move the mouse. Very clever again. I like the way they do this. They've really thought about it. I'm so impressed with this game. It's blowing me away. One hour and one minute. Is there any way to skip time by like one hour? Does this work? That's a shame. That would be quite cool actually if you could just have a glass of water and maybe that would skip ten minutes or something like that. Or get something out of the snack machine and that would be a know it's another 10 minute thing and the coffee machine all these machines here could be used to skip five ten minutes couldn't they you know we'll call this one the coffee machine a half an hour time skip water is 10 minutes uh something to eat is another half an hour you know what i mean and then you could just skip time like that See, because it's so good, I'm now like, well, what else could you simulate? Why why, why can't you drag the balls here and simulate this? Why can't you pick up the phone and order a pizza? That would be another good way to, to kill 30 minutes of your time. And I like how you can sit in the chair, but you're not necessarily on the computer until you click on the computer. This game is so good. Right, this should be ready to go. Yeah, let's put it on the desk. Let's jump in. Let's remove the clamps. <laughs> oh, stop dictating to me which one I have to open next. Oh my good lord. Why would you do it in that order? In fact, there probably is a reason why you do it in that order probably is the way you're supposed to do it i would say right um that looks beautiful what a guitar oh my gosh i'm so jealous of my own skill this game 
Almost got a fully working guitar here. Right, we're going to get the frets on. I was hoping it would do this bit on itself. I wonder if there's like a... Can you just put them anywhere, or does it have to meet a specific width and position? I, I, I just, I, I'm just starting to think about things on a guitar that I've never thought about before, but yeah. I'm starting to wonder whether or not there's a precision element to that that I'm not yet familiar with. Oh, here we go. Screwdriver in. Okay, that's slow. Wait a minute, it's telling me... Oh, I see. I misunderstood. I thought this meant how much stock they have at the store. This is my warehouse. I didn't understand that at all. Okay. All right. Finally, click. We should have some strings coming very soon. We should have a working guitar any moment now. I'm very excited about this. Very excited about Okay. Any idea where my string delivery is coming, please, game? So we got six on delivery, but when's that coming? What? Okay, <clears throat> I really like how there's a delay in delivery. I think that's absolutely awesome. And moving forward, that's going to make it more fun and interesting. But I'm a bit frustrated because... Uh, uh, because um, I'm going to have to wait for them to get here. It's, it's like an entire day. I'm going to have to wait the entire day for them to get here. Last! I like the realism. I'm not complaining about that. Oh, no, I did that wrong. Go again. Boom, boom. It's frustrating that I'm in this position. It's my own fault, but, you know, I kind of feel like, a little bit like, uh, it's an easy mistake to make. Other side on. Uh, strap hook. And then again, we're going to be waiting on the strings to arrive, but we're going to have two working guitars very much. Uh, happening at about the same time which is kind of cool you can see if they sound any different or whether the quality is different between the two very much try to uh, keep the quality high as possible on both of them but uh, you know this is the first time I've done it so I'm sure I've made mistakes along the way almost a given two different colors of, of, of blue there have you noticed Two different sky blue colours. I don't know if that's good or bad. 
Anyway, right. Uh, we've got to wait for strings. So we have a bit of a kip, I guess. Still not enough time. Another two hours. It's taken me nearly two hours to build these two guitars. That's insane. What a fantastic game. What a fantastic game. I think another hour should do it. Right. It's got to be nearly here, surely. Tablet time. Nope, that's not going to show me my deliveries. Yeah. Four fifty-seven, four fifty-four. Okay, we got thirty minutes. Thirty minutes to wait. Bong, we'll wake up immediately. We should now have guitar strings. Let's jump in. Let's do this. Let's hope they're here. Oh bugger! They're not here. Let me check that date again. If it's tomorrow. <laughs> if it's tomorrow, I may cry. Because I'm going to have to waste another entire day. Let's check this properly. 6th of the 7th. The day is the 5th of the 7th. Oh my god, it is tomorrow. Oh, you have to press and hold the mouse. You have to hold the mouse down. Second string. Ruby. Third string. I don't know if you've ever, um, Put guitar strings onto a guitar, but it's, a, it's an absolute pain in the ass. I don't enjoy doing it one bit. Nice once it's done and you strum it for the first time, doing it is a bit of a, a bit of a ball ache. I think is the appropriate term. String. Give me the string. There we go. And I've got to say, you know, again, the game is superbly good. Um, in the way that it just does things. And just the simple ability to click on the string, which is, you know, not a huge part of equipment, and for it to, um, you know, be click on a bolt as it is, and so on. Sense. Next steps, tuning! Can't see it properly. I'm finding that quite frustrating. Now I'm watching the needle, I'm actually finding that much easier. Perfect. That took a little while, but we got there. Oh, okay, right. 
so we can um, can't do distortion because we're on an electric guitar. Uh, okay. That's amazing. I, I genuinely think uh, with enough practice, I could actually play a few songs on this game. That's how good I think that is. I'm a bit confused at the moment because I'm looking for the E chord and the E chord to play the, <laughs> to play the E chord. You have to press the uh, see. I still can't figure it out. Play the E chord. You have to press the C key. And that's throwing me off a little bit. D is X and C is Z. It's kind of messing with my head a little bit. But with a bit of practice, I think I could genuinely play some proper songs there, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, work on the thing. Oh, hang on. We haven't got any guitar strings, have we? Till four o'clock. Have a little snooze for two hours. It's a shame you can't say how many hours you want to sleep. Or snooze, I should say, not sleep. Right, we should have some guitar strings by the end of this. Four forty seven. I think they're going to be here in like two minutes or something silly. Jumble chip. Yeah, four fifty seven. <laughs> so they should be here any moment any moment any moment now. It is the right day, isn't it? Don't tell. Sixth of the seventh. Yes, that's today. Four fifty one. Right, so they're gonna be here in about five minutes. How crazy is that? How cool is that? Bit of a long-winded process, so we'll try and speed it up as quickly as we can. Whilst at the same time doing an, an exceptionally good job. Sometimes you can't click on the string. Sometimes it's really easy, sometimes it's just annoyingly not quite so easy. I'm going to blame the camera for that. Sometimes the camera doesn't quite put you where you want to be. Then. And also, can you see that the, the string is going underneath this tab? There must be some sort of bug right there. That shouldn't be happening. Early access. I mean, I've got to say, actually, let's be flipping fair, right? For an early access game, this is pretty damn tight. I mean, this is, like, I would say, release quality level. Do you know what I mean? This is, does not feel like early access to me. This feels like the full shebang. I am so, so impressed with this game. Uh, Probably tune it by ear after a few attempts as well.
Perfect. This is tricky. I know, right? It's just noise, but already you can see that there's a, a smidgen in there of capability of actually being able to play that like a proper guitar. I believe genuinely that there are people out there with enough skill and enough time and enough effort in them to actually be able to play proper songs in this game. That's how good I think this simulator is. Absolutely outstanding. I'd love to play Tenacious D for you. I can't seem to find E minor. I can see E flat. Where's E minor? E minor is one of my favourite keys of all. Oh, left control. That's how you get E minor. Oh, that's a tenacious D start right there. Uh, let's complete the phase. Let's complete the job. And I think she's quite happy. So we'll go for 6% happiness and confirm that. $756 she paid for that guitar. And I think that's money well spent. Well done, that lady. Fantastic. So, um, okay, I think that's a pretty concise first look video. I intended to put half an hour into this game, and here we are, two hours and five minutes later, um, and I am the most impressed I have ever been with any simulator ever. They have just absolutely smashed it out the park. I think this game is incredible. And I highly recommend that if you have any interest or passion in guitar making at all, that this is the simulator you want. Hands down, unequivocally, this game is incredible. I cannot rate it any higher than that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.